Ah, good timing. Mind if I bend your ear a bit, lass? You're familiar with Jacopo, I assume? The mayor's son. George! Yes, yes, I am! And yes, you guys! Hello and welcome back to SOS Poot, where we are actually here with George's heart event! Huzzah! We needed to get that heart event done so that we could go ahead and start working on Iori's special roleplay story that we randomized for him. But let's go ahead and see what George needs to do with his... I guess first mate, Jacopo? Jacopo helps George run the, run the ferry to Olive Town, so let's see what he's talking about Jacopo for today. I allowed him on my ship at the behest of the mayor, but he's lazier than a sloth. Does not surprise me, George. Does not surprise me. He can be kind, but he's very lazy. The lad's clothes look like they've tumbled in from the high tide, and he couldn't show up to work on time even if I tied him to the ship overnight. I could have a word with the mayor or Gloria about him, but he isn't a child anymore. His parents can't keep enabling him like this. That's where you come in. Hire him as a farmhand for a while, would you? Honest farm work requires waking up early, sticking to a schedule, and having plenty of stamina. I think it would be the perfect way to whip him up into shape. I mean... No... But sure... Captain, what in the world are you trying to pull? Chocopo, why were you listening in? That's rude. No eavesdropping. All right, let's get back to the farm. We've got work to do. Oh, overheard us, did you? Same goes for you, Siri. Don't think that for one second I'd work for you that easily. Don't blame Siri. It was my suggestion. Hey, now. I would really, you know, what? Like, come on, Chocopo. It was going to be a favor for you. My farm's amazing. You could even have hugged my cow. If my laziness bugs you, then how about you go and find me a wife, Captain? Wait. Wait. What? 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 That is like the opposite of what you deserve right now, Jacopo. I'd be more than happy to clean myself up and wake up on time if I had a pretty lady around to motivate me. You have that backwards, Jacopo. You think girls will want to meet a lad who's too lazy to take care of his own business? Absolutely not. No one should ever have to marry, like, a grown adult child of, of, who just hasn't, Jacopo, I am at loss for words. You have tangled my tongue with indignation. Dang, Captain, I know you're blunt by nature, but that's a real blow to the old self-esteem. Well, thank you for letting me get that off my chest, Siri. Appreciate it. I'll be seeing you. Jacopo. Yeah, not impressed, dude. Hey, hey, Captain, wait up! Don't you look at me like that! I don't know how to feel about all that, but thanks for listening to him. Also, saving me from having to sit through that. You better believe I'll be the one complaining next time, though. Jacobo? The fact that you're a romanceable character is a little bit of a travesty and a crime to humanity. Just saying. All right, maybe that was a little harsh, but all right, guys. Hello, hello, and welcome. So now that oh, oh, now that we have gone from one event, we leap right into another. Before I can even tell you guys what we were gonna work on today, but this is great because this is Iori's first heart event, and that will free us up to be able to work on his second heart event and launch us into the brand new challenge that we now have to visit with him every day, rain or shine, and give him a gift we think he would like so that we can raise his heart rate up to level two. What, is it that much of a marvel to see a man fishing? Just surprised to see you here, Iori. We were just thinking about you. You are welcome to observe if you wish, provided you do not alarm the fish. Many have stopped to curiously behold my fishing habits, yet you are the first to walk up beside me. Uh, I somehow doubt that, Iori, but go for it. Do you have an interest in fishing as well, by chance? Um, I mean, I guess I'm something of an angler myself. I do love learning about the fish. Indeed, I thought as much. I took this up as a hobby of sorts upon my arrival here. Ah, so it gave you a sense of meaning and purpose to a new town. I was insufferably preoccupied at home, but here I can be truly at ease. Oh, so it's very meditative for you, that patience, the open waters. Or so I had thought. I see you have come for me once more. Cease your hiding and reveal yourself. Is he in a battle with the fish fish? Because that's hilarious. <gasps> Ah, a cat. 
He is undoubtedly after my fish. He prowled about yesterday as well, though he remained hidden. He is docile at present, but there's no telling when he may bear his fangs and strike. You should be on guard as well. Iori's secret enemy is like the best. I can't believe that that was his first heart of it, was to be on guard from a fish. That was adorable. But all right, guys. So welcome back. It is a beautiful, sunny, well, no, I was going to say sunny summer day, but it is actually a very rainy summer day. And now we have just accomplished something extremely important in being able to see both those heart events. So carrying on with our role play. And if you're not here, I'm not sure why you're, you know, here, but I hope you're having a good time. Uh, for the role play, that is. Sorry, I messed that up because I'm just so flustered by so many things happening. But now that we have gone ahead and we have completed seeing the first heart event for George, we're now going to start working on visiting with Iori. And we're going to try to go ahead and get his second heart through fishing. Through fishing and then preparing those fish into grilled fish because we learned he really loves grilled fish. And then seeing him pretty much every day arguably so that we can get tips about fishing so that hopefully we'll be able to give Nguyen, where'd he go? Nguyen, who is Len's grandfather, uh, gifts because we really like him. He's a sweet little old man. And so to take care of the sweet little old man, Iori has offered to teach us how to do a little bit of fishing. So I would go fishing. If I, is Iori here fishing like every day? He's not here right now, but I would go fishing if my pockets were not full of seeds. So we just got a whole bunch more seeds and a peach seedling and a lemon seedling. I could not pass them up, friends. I really was trying to save the money so we could get our expanded backpack, but I just couldn't pass the opportunity up. They were so cute. The tiny... Oh, kitties! Oh, look at the kitty. All oh, those little tiny bean paws. I love them. But I could not pass up the opportunity to go ahead and get a lemon and a peach seedling, which was for sale over at the store. I just couldn't resist that. I love peaches and they just looked so cute, these tiny little plants. So I ended up being completely won over by the itty bitty adorable plants and brought them home instead of saving the money <laughs> so that one day we'll be able to get that expanded backpack. But I'm sure it's going to be okay. All right, so speaking of seeds, how is our seed maker going? Still working very hard at making a brand new set of wonderful bean seeds. The thread maker could use a little attention. I'm not gonna get distracted by the thread maker today though. And so now that we've actually gone ahead and gotten Iori's first heart event, I think we'll do a little bit of fishing. I just need to clear out my pockets first and make sure that all of the seeds are planted, all of the crops that are ready to sell are sold, and I need to feed our sheep, or our, our yeah, sheep, cows, and our alpaca because it is a rainy day. All right, so let's ship these tomatoes. We'll go ahead and ship these onions. Um, oh, and I also want to see if I can make Ralph a, like some shellfish soup and if he enjoys shellfish soup as much as he enjoyed having like our fancy beans. All right. Let's see. All right. So we'll go ahead and take care of this. Another egg goes in. Kind of nice to have two mayonnaise makers. All right. And I've also been getting just normal logs going just in case we need those for something. Might as well because the lemon makers are already set out. There we go. There we go. And then we'll put away the lumber and we'll put away this charcoal because we don't need that. And then let's make a place for my lemon. Let's make a place for my little lemon and peach seedling. I actually want to plant my peach seedling over here next to the chicken coop. Ah, oh, all right, there we go. Clear this out of the way. There. All right. Now I'm going to be able to see what's over here. So I want to put the peach seedling so it will grow a peach tree. Maybe right... Let's do it right here. Yay! Oh, that's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see how it grows. And then the lemon seedling, I kind of want to plant the lemon seedling down here just to have a little bit of variety. Um, or actually, maybe I should plant it over here? Hmm... No, I'm going to plant it over here. Yeah. I don't know why, but I just like this spot for the lemon. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put the lemon seedling right here. There we go. 
Wonderful! So now my fields are really starting to fill up and I want to plant a whole bunch of flowers and other things over here, but I want to be able to take care of those flowers with the sprinkler systems. So we need to go ahead and get ourselves a whole bunch more of the iron and silver ingots in order to get those sprinkler systems, which means at some point spending more time in the mines. All right. But if our goal is to now visit with Iori today, and then we free ourselves to the mines, we need to work our way over. When did this? <gasps> a sunflower? Yes! Absolutely, vitally. We're gonna have to sell that sunflower and we're gonna have to sell the melon we found because that will actually open up the seeds that are available. You guys, we're about to get sunflowers on our farm. Heck. I love sunflowers. They're one of my absolute favorite flowers. And just having a whole bunch of those behind the chicken coop. Okay, that's my new goal. And then don't worry, soon, Bluebell, soon, we're gonna make it so Bluebell can actually have another child of her own, or a child of her own, and carry on her wonderful legacy of cows. And we're also gonna make it so that Henrietta can have a child at some point soon, and we can have a little chick chick pecking around, which I think would be adorable. All right, so. Let's put away this gold ingot and this time-worn object for now. And then we do have a whole bunch of silver that we can start turning into silver ore over here. There we go. For the sake of being able to really start getting those, really start getting those um, sprinklers going. In fact, maybe we should make another couple ore makers real quick. Where are the ore makers? All right, we can totally do that. I've got enough wood. I've got more than enough wood and I've got more than enough iron ore. We'll put down a couple more ore makers and that way we can really start churning out all of the ore pieces we need. One, got it. And two, got it, okay. I might put away a couple of the lumber makers because I don't think we need as many lumber makers as we have right now. All right, let's set you right here. And then we'll set you. Ugh, they're so ugly on our farm, but we'll get there eventually, right here. And then we'll start processing more silver ore. Yay! All right, we're being very productive. I like it. All right, we'll keep the silver ore in my pocket so that anytime we run by, we'll be able to go ahead and just put out more silver ore. And then while it is a nice rainy day, I wanna show you guys an idea I actually have for how to make these paths look even better. So I don't like the way that the like nice and tidy looking path looks. So we're actually going to try to do something kind of fancy, mixing together the cobblestone paths on our farm to make them fit in with my dream of a, what our land should look like a little better. We're going to put some till spots in between them Watch this, friends, because I think this is going to be kind of cool. Let's see. And we'll do one more, maybe back here. Well, I don't know if we need the path to come up that high, actually. So I'll actually put that down. Yeah, we don't need the path to come up that high. And we'll go ahead and clear this away. And then what we're going to do is instead of having, like, maybe concrete path and then the cobblestone path, we're gonna put in fodder seeds. So we're actually going to sprinkle some fodder seeds in between. There we go, we're gonna sprinkle these fodder seeds in between where we are going to be putting the cobblestone. And I'm hoping, oh yeah, another little harvest sprite. And I'm hoping if we do that, then it'll actually make it look a little more naturalistic, which is exactly what I'm going for. And we won't make it like 100% diagonal all the time like now we can go ahead and come in and maybe say that like this whoops well we made it 100 percent diagonal there but maybe say this part of the path is taken care of a little bit more i love that i can't wait to see how that works out that's gonna be so fun Phew. all right now that we've taken care of our animals i've showed you guys why i've been hauling those fodder seeds around we have planted a whole bunch of new crops and we have even managed to go ahead and get ourselves some lovely new trees. I'm still really proud about the trees. All right, cheese please. 
We actually need to go ahead and maybe get another cheese maker too. But that's gonna have to wait just a minute. All right, we'll ship these two. Ship the sunflower and the melon and the sap, because why not? I'll get the sugar processing. Phew, what a fun day. And now we've got more iron makers or more ore makers so that we can try to get better ore faster so that we can start a little sunflower field for summer. Totally feeling that. Let's actually come over and let's go fishing off of this pier and see if we can snag anything to give to Iori. I don't know how late he'd be awake, but this will be a good a good experiment. Oh wait, can we not fish here? Oh, we can fish this way, okay. All right, all right, come on fish fish. And then we'll also try to upgrade our fishing rod to silver to go along with Iori teaching us how to do some fishing. All right, come on, oh, almost, almost. We've almost got him, I think. Oh, he got away! Oh, so we actually have to reel the fish in by getting the right side up before. I see, I see. I always kind of mix our fishing up a little bit. You're, you're aiming to make the fish on the right side go to the top before the rod goes to the bottom. I always think it should be the other way around. We got a little fish, a herring! And we also got a little harvest sprite from that. I didn't realize we could get harvest sprites from fishing on our farm. That's really good. Oh, this is a stubborn fish. All right, come on, buddy. All right, careful. Come on. Come on. I love that how there's a cat who's actually... Oh, oh, we were so close. I love how there's a cat who's like Iori's competition. Come on. Come on, fish, fish. Ha! All right, I don't think we're gonna be able to visit Iori tonight, but... <gasps> it's a squid! We just caught a squid! Oh, we'll have so many things to go ahead and turn into the museum with being able to catch more fish like this. All right, careful. All right, we wanna go ahead. Really, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. I think we've almost got it. Another squid! Yay! All right, so we've got a couple great squid. <gasps> and we just got fledgling fisher. Huzzah! Maybe we'll be able to do even better fishing now. Well, heck! I think we'll go inside and we will turn one of the squid, forgive me, little squid friend, into a grilled fish to give to Iori in the morning. Unless, oh, what's this? <gasps> a gazami grab! Oh, how exciting. Wild Secret, thank you for your help today. But yeah, we'll go ahead, we'll go in. And then in the morning, I think we'll be able to actually expect ourselves to get some sunflower seeds. So we'll focus on sunflower seeds. What can I make here? Oh, and I should get some of the beans turned into soy sauce. Yes, that would be so cool. We'll definitely make some of the beans into soy sauce soon. Also, curry rice needs mixed spices, ground chili pepper, in order to go ahead and create something fun. And we can make a grill, oh, only out of the herring. All right, we'll make a grilled fish out of the herring. And then it looks like the other guys, I might as well go ahead and sell the high quality common squid and we'll take this little squid over to the museum. And I think we already have this crab at the museum, so we'll sell these two. Phew! What a busy and fun day, friends. Oh my word. All right, get that sugar cane going. We'll get that milk going. <laughs> oh, I'll, you know what, I'll go ahead and sell the other milk because it's just a little bit of a difference in price. Um, and then we'll sell these two and look at all the money we just got from that. Wonderful. I think we're doing a fantastic job taking good care of Mossley Farm. All right, new goals. We're gonna start fishing. I'll try to upgrade the rod tomorrow too because I think that that would be pretty fair. And then we will also see if we can go ahead and maybe, there we go, put all of those away. Yay, maybe get some sunflowers. All right, let's go to bed real quick. I wanna see if we're gonna be able to get those sunflower seeds from the flower shop because that would make some dreams come true. Making little fields of sunflowers behind the chicken coop. That's my new general store has expanded, grocery store, flower, yes! 
<laughs> All right, guys. So it seems like we are going to be able to make my sunflower dreams come true tomorrow. We'll work on that. And then kind of just everything else on the farm, too. Heck, there's just so much to constantly do. I love it. And it's finally a sunny day, so Ivy can come outside with us. Yay! She can go ahead and maybe go on a nice walk. What do you think about that, Ivy? It's been a little while because it's just been raining for days, hasn't it? All right, there you go, girl. But all right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I'm glad to know that I absolutely don't want to have anything romantically to do with Jacopo at this stage, like ever. I don't need a, a big adult child who wants somebody else to motivate him to do things with his life. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm glad to see that we are making progress with being able to befriend George. Look at all of our crops. They're so cool. The little birdos are so happy. <gasps> Look at our flowers. Heck, this is wonderful. But alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our wonderful, thriving Mossley Farm. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!